Extractivism has contributed significantly in incinerating the planet, causing climate change and other environmental crises, and as such, there is an urgent need to address the issue. Now, these fun part of discussion at the School of Ecology training organized by Health of Mother Earth Foundation, HOMEF. Details in this report. In the last 12 years, Nigeria has witnessed consistent floods happening around the rivers Niger and Benue, as well as the Niger Delta region. Communities were inundated by over three meters of flood water, which often took its toll on the cropping season. Health of Mother Earth Foundation, HOMEF, is of the opinion that there is no better time than now to address these issues, hence the thematic session on extractivism, climate change and food insecurity. Now, extractivism is a very colonial idea that makes governments believe that the best way to utilize the gifts of nature, what we call nat natural resources, to extract it no matter what. The harms, the damage, the despoilation of the environment, the destruction of our territories are not taken into account. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, in 2022, the nation's economy was largely driven by the non-oil sector, which accounted for 95.66% of growth, while the oil sector contributed 4.34%. Experts believe the focus should shift more to agriculture. On food insecurity, analysts say Nigerians need to understand that genetic modifications to agricultural producers is not the solution. We used to have a thriving manufacturing sector. We used to have a thriving textile industry. We used to have granite pyramids. We had, you know, rubber plantations. We had things were thriving. We had businesses thriving, opportunities for commerce thriving. But as Nigeria's oil production increased, gradually, from 5,000 barrels a day to 6,000, 7,000, 1 million, up to 2.4 million barrels a day. As the production increased, we saw a deliberate and clear decline in other productive sectors. Our worry for those of us from developing countries is that they make it seem as food insecurity is peculiar to uh, developing countries or developing countries. Food insecurity is a global matter. And the issue about food insecurity is not because globally we do not produce enough food. No. It remains more of the issue of access, availability, and stability. P presently in Nigeria, you can't find Naira to buy food. So if you go to the village, you will see food vended in the market. And the local uh, vendor selling the food insists on collecting Naira notes that he doesn't want a transfer. You will go home not having access to food. The consensus here is that the impact of extractivism can be reversed by deliberate policies by government that is willing to win itself of dependence on crude oil and fossil fuels.